Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, uh, Dokkan Fast Fat Boo and Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku uh, are live on both Global and JP Dokkan. Um, so we do have kind of like, uh, you know, Golden Week hype has descended on us with a dual Dokkan Fest. So, um, let's just talk about the Fat Majin Boo banner here before we move on to his Dokkan event. Um, Boo seems very good. Um, I... Probably I will end up liking him as the best TUR, probably, but I'm not super sure yet. Not even really super sure exactly how I want to build this guy. I'm thinking that this is a character that does not really need dodge at all, and I just want to uh, pummel into other resources, but, you know, kind of we'll see with that. Again, I'm leaning towards him potentially being one, but I would say right now he's kind of just in the mix with Topo. Angel, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and then, of course, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, you know, the top of the TUR list is definitely looking very good there. Then we have Skinny Boo. I think Skinny Boo potentially could be an elite option on Majin Power. Um, we know that Exchange Majin Boo, that character, is going to be getting their EZA. Um, I think they said on May 2nd, so that's going to be pretty good uh, to potentially move into that as well. Um, so, you know, these two potentially could be very good. Um, you know, I want to see this guy in action first, but I think he's at least going to be solid. Uh, Dragon Fist, this is a JP only. Um, you know, he, of course, is like a very, very solid character. Um, Piccolo Jr. is okay-ish. Orange Piccolo is still very, very, very good. Um, and then this guy is dead. I mean, this guy, I, I didn't even like him back in the movie Red Zone, right? Like, he's, yeah, he's nothing. Um, and then Exchange Boo, of course, is going to easy eight very soon, right? Um, so Exchange Majin Boo getting their easy eight. Um, I think that's that's huge. I think that this character is going to be a monster as well. I think they're going to be very, very, very strong. I'm thinking that, you know, with that kind of like hint, that thing that where Tech Gohan was on that banner, considering the way this art works with Tech Gohan, I think both of these characters are going to EZA during this celebration. So that, of course, could be pretty good right there. Uh, now, if we swap over, um, it is a global W as usual. So... On this banner, like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku banner, you have the multis right here, 30, 40, 45. I do kind of recommend, you know, tapping into that um, as a global player. Um, I do think it's kind of good to do this. Um, you know, like, you know, when you're able to take advantage, I mean, pretty soon it's going to be synced. So it's not like global's months behind anymore. But I mean, that's if they're going to do discounts like this, it is smart to take advantage of kind of like the special treatment that Global gets when it does get it. So doing these um, discounts, which aren't on JP, um, certainly could be very good. And then also, if we look at the banner, so um, whatchamacallit, uh, Dragon Fist is not on here, but they actually returned Android 21. Uh, my guess is that Android 21 will be on the next Dokkan Fest for JP. Oh, could it just be Rosé? Huh. Like, they bring 21 back right here. And then Rosé just has a normal banner, and then that's 21's return. That could be what the next Dokkan Fest is on JP. Um, 21 is pretty good. A lot of people are asking if they should get 21 red coins. I, I think if you want to, that's solid. I always recommend to save your red coins for characters who function as good leaders. And I think 21 is a decent leader character, right? Like Peppy Gals... Um, you know, can certainly be a decent team. Um, you know, she also, of course, has Majin Power on there. So, you know, you could use Fat Boo. You could use Boo Han. Like, I don't think getting 21 of Red Coins is the worst idea ever. Because I do consider her at least a decent leader character. Um, you know, it, it, it's tough. I mean, she's certainly not as good as the top TURs. But, like, she, you know, she, she's okay. Like, for a 2023 character, she, she hangs in there well enough. Um, and then the final thing, of course, is the missions here. Uh, we seem to use sworn enemies, um, one of every typing, and then no items, and uh, then beat it within a couple of turns once. So, all right, let's just go ahead and jump in. Uh, it's good, by the way, that Fat Boo finally does get a Dokkan event. I'm very pleased at that. Um, I do want all these major uh, characters in Dragon Ball to get their Dokkan events. Fat Boo is one. You know, coming up, I'd love to see Baby get a Dokkan Fest. I would love to see Demon King Piccolo get a Dokkan Fest. Yeah, Fat Boo finally has his own Dokkan event. I mean, this could be good. We could see Fat Boo get a new stage added to his Dokkan event when they start to do manga stuff. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we sure could. We sure could. It could, it could happen. It could. It could happen. 
Um, all right, so I just picked uh, Fusion Zamasu, um, Tech Fusion Zamasu, obviously, and his really strong leader skill. Um, and then we're just bringing the sworn enemy characters. Um, of course, Fat Fat Boo does lead sworn enemy himself, um, but you know we kind of have to go through this first. All right, so there is that Bobbity M Boo. Um, I believe that's going to be the final boss in one of the red zone stages. I believe the red zone stages are live right now. Oh, they create the orb or the the candy spheres, huh? Okay. Uh, well, that'll be good for Fapu. Fapu will be healing with the with the sweets or the candy he spheres, right? That was a thing that Dokkan more so did back when the game first, like you know, when they first introduced who was it? It was uh, physical Dokkan Fest Kid Boo. Yeah. All right, so let's just go ahead and get through here. I'll probably, I want to probably try and prioritize the showcases. I'm thinking for Goku and Fat Boo, um, and then we'll. I, I'll do the Red Zone stages. I I probably won't even get to them till tomorrow. Well, I see tomorrow, but it's probably well. But then again, I'm talking to people like just people who might be like in Mexico. I might be you know talking to someone who's over in like London, England, and then of course there's someone in the U.S. Like it's like. Like, the Dokkan community is very, just, like, all over the place like that, right? But um, I'm probably going to just focus on getting all the showcases out. At least the the major ones, right? The the 55% leading into the 200%. And then after that, um, then at that point, I'll kind of, you know, like, get to the red zone stages. Um, in between the showcases, though, I am going to do... Um, I, I want to do the Global Celebration Info get a nice spot to talk about tech exchange Majin Buu and how good I think that their EZA is going to be. I think that's a great pick. Like, it's a good EZA because it looked like earlier, it, like, tech ultimate Gohan I do think is very likely. But Videl, it's like, I don't know if I would have been the biggest fan of Videl getting her EZA in this celebration. But tech exchange Buu is like, yes, like, now is the time to EZA that. I would love if they would give us, you know, like, 10 EZA characters in this celebration or something like that just really ride through them because again we need boo saga good right now not in a year or oh like we don't want to go through too many easiers we got to save some for later sure in some cases but not this time i would much rather they you know the best golden week celebration would be super saiyan 3 goku tech majin vegeta ultimate gohan exchange boo and then a bunch of sub ezas like the physical boo tanks agl boo piccolo physical debora right like uh str super saiyan great saiyan man that's like you know you know get all of those guys ready to go so that you could kind of build like these different variants of the boo team you know that we'd be ready for majin power we could do extreme class uh, majin boo saga you know and then of course the super class would be looking good with a lot of the go tanks and the super saiyan 3 gokus and stuff like that i think that would be great so um you know i do hope to see a massive massive amount of easy is actually dropping so there we go there is the fat boo dokkan event i'll go ahead and get the um, medals grinded up for Fat Boo and Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Uh, let me know what you guys think of these characters. Uh, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.